ancestors, friends from the Jewish, Christian, and other faith communities. Assalamu alaikum. Shalom. And we extend to you greetings of peace. Brothers and sisters, even before this rally had been organized, the Zionists over there and their right-wing Islamophobic media had started a campaign of vilification against us. We know this right-wing media has no respect for their journalistic ethics. But we have a message for them. In fact, their vile propaganda gave us publicity and you see so many people coming out today from all faith communities. hatred and being anti-Semitic. Well, if they are not deaf, blind, and dumb, let them come and see. We have two rabbis standing with us, our yeah. brothers from the Jewish faith. Yeah. Yeah. We just heard Sister Sandra Rush, who is with the Canadian boat to Gaza. Earlier, we heard from our friend Ken Stone, who is with the Independent Jewish Voices. And we also have our sister Suzanne Weiss, whose relatives were, were perished in the Holocaust. If people like that stand with us, that means we are absolutely on the right track, and those people are on the right track, wrong track. You know, brothers and sisters, this right-wing media has also found a clown in the Muslim community that they trot out any time they want to spout venom against Muslims. Wait a minute. Please, please, just bear with me. This clown leads an organization that is a one-man gang. Okay, let me, let me make a correction. Actually, there are also a couple of aunties with him. But those aunties are not exactly the Bollywood screen models. You know, how much, can, how much makeup can they make to improve themselves? So what do they do? They come and spout their venom against Muslims and they get publicity in this fascist right-wing media. Actually, I don't even want to mention his name because that would, in the month of Ramadan, we are fasting. We don't want to utter profanities. So we don't want to mention their names. You know, but these Zionists try to mobilize people like Peter Kent and Peter Sherman. And if there is another Peter or Paul or Mary, here is my challenge to them. If you have anything to say in support of Zionism and you have any credibility, come out and debate us openly on a neutral platform. Yeah. Yeah. But this invitation does not extend to the right-wing fascist media because they are going to distort every word that we utter as they did with our rally last year. But we know how to confront them. You know, they may continue to lie, but truth is going to catch up ultimately. And in this day of internet, truth is beginning to prevail, as you can see right over here. Yes! The people united will never be defeated! 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 The people united will never when we criticize Zionist policies, they immediately accuse us of being anti-Semitic. But you know, Bishop Desmond Tutu, the struggler against apartheid, also condemned Zionism and Zionist apartheid. The, the icon of anti-apartheid struggle, Nelson Mandela, has said, if the Palestinians are not free, no one is free.
the former president of the United States, Jimmy Carter, has said Israel can either have peace or it will remain an apartheid state. And that's a choice for the Zionists to make. But you know, any non-Jewish person who criticizes Zionist policies is immediately accused of being anti-Semitic. And any Jewish people that criticize Zionist policies, they are immediately branded as self-hating Jews. What kind of logic is that? What kind of freedom of speech is that? I'm going to tell you something about Israeli policies so that we get a clear picture of what they are doing to the Palestinian people and why we consider Zionism to be racism. You know, two months ago, there were riots against African migrant workers to occupied Palestine. And the Israeli interior minister, who also serves as the deputy prime minister, his name is Eli Yeshai, he said, these Africans don't belong here because this is our land, this belongs to the Jew, this belongs to the white man. Can you imagine any politician in Canada standing up either at Queen's Park or Parliament Hill or anywhere else saying that Canada is a Christian country and it belongs to the white man. What do you think will happen to that politician? He will be driven out of office. Although it is a fact that Canada has a majority Christian population, it is a fact that Canada has a majority white population, and yet Canada is not a racist state. Yeah. And we will have to struggle very hard to make sure that Canada does not become a racist state like the Zionist state of Israel. sisters, here are some facts that our Palestinian brothers and sisters are facing in Palestine. According to United Nations figures, 80% of the population of Gaza Strip is food deficient as a consequence of this illegal siege that has been imposed on the Gaza Strip by the Zionists. Shame, shame. They are starving Palestinian children. They are denying them food. They are denying them medicines. <coughs> And they are denying them their right to freedom. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! The Zionists are bulldozing the homes of the Palestinian people. They are uprooting their olive groves. <clears throat> and they've got thousands of Palestinians in illegal detention in Palestine. And in, in Zionist Israel. But let me say this to them. They can put the chains on their hands. They can put the chains on their feet. But every chain, that chains that will speak out that Palestine will be free. Free, free Palestine! 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 Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. in support of the Palestinian people is growing around the world. And I see that day when the Palestinians will get their rights and Palestine will be free. Palestine will be 